Hello and welcome to Buzz Plays. In my last episode I showed you guys how to make a theoretical elementizer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, which give us two cool items. It give us a... I haven't got them on me. Um, but it give me a um, Steve's uh, stopwatch and also a weather orb. Um, let me just pick these up. So Steve's... I've showed you guys what these what these do but uh, Steve's stopwatch if we right click on it lets us change the time of day and the weather orb should hopefully make us let it go clear let's see if this actually works it didn't work in my other one in my other video no it's still not working them but yeah so it's supposed to oh there, there, there we go cool um, but in this episode I'm gonna be trying to make a well, in a, in a future video, I'll be making a um, fusion reactor or a nuclear reactor. I'm not sure which one yet. But we're going to need some um, some uranium rods and or fuchsia rods, I think it's called. Um, if we just quickly scroll down, it is these ones here. Fissure, uh, fuel rods. Um, and to make those, we're going to need some uranium hydrofluoride, hexafluoride even. Um, so to make these, uh, we're going to need a lot of machinery. Um, so I'm going to show you guys in this episode how to make the machinery and then in the episode to follow, um, just connecting it all up really. So to start off with, we're going to need a chemical extractor. So to make a chemical extractor, we're going to need two centrifuge, uh, cent centrifuges, um, but we're going to need three because um, we need two for this, but we also actually need one. Uh, we're going to need elite circuit, some steel plates, and some bronze uh, plate, uh, some bronze ingots. Is that or bronze plates, uh, bronze ingots? So let's, uh, as you guys can see, I've gone off and found some uh, uranium already. Um, done that just before I started. Uh, filming this. So let's start off with the elite circuit first. So we're going to need a lapis block, some gold and some advanced circuits which means basic circuits. So hopefully we're going to have enough bronze for this. Um, so we're going to need two bronze plates. No, we're not. We're going to need four bronze plates, but we can also use steel plates. Let's grab some of my steel because I've got more steel than I have uh, bronze anyway. So, yeah, there we go. Let's, let's make a couple more. Oh, we're going to need a couple more anyway, so do that. Um, so, let's uh, put all these together to start with. So, redstone, grab some cables. Um, yeah. That should be it, what we need. So let's do this. Uh, cables in the corners. And then redstone. It's two basic circuits. I need another two. Another two basic circuits. So there's four basic circuits there. Uh, we're going to need two diamonds and some more redstone so let's go and grab the diamonds that we've got which isn't a lot so two diamonds uh, redstone and the base circuits so we're actually going to need some more redstone damn it so let's grab the redstone that we got again I went and got some redstone which is all good Uh, circuits and two diamonds. So there's our two advanced circuits. So let's grab our lapis and also some gold. So there's our gold, there's our lapis. And let's uh, build a lapis block. Gold on the top and the bottom. And then our two advanced circuits either side of that. So that's our elite circuit created. So we need two steel plates, uh, well we're going to need two more centrifuges, 
Um, so we're going to need some steel, uh, bronze ingots, some more steel plates, uh, another two or three advanced circuits. So we're going to need some more basic circuits. So let's uh, quickly do these. Uh, so do the steel ingot, that's uh, steel plates. Uh, let's do four and then four. Hopefully I'll have enough uh, redstone because otherwise I'm going to have to go off and get some, uh, which isn't going to be great. Um, so we've got the basic circuits. Uh, so the advanced circuits we need uh, redstone along the top. Still plate can come out to in there and then so there's two advanced circuits. Uh, we're going to need some iron. So let's go and grab some iron from here. Uh, so two motors. So we're going to need, yeah, it's going to need uh, eight cables. Uh, still and an iron or two irons that gives us two motors now I think this is the most expensive one actually um, to start with but it is it this machine is quite helpful especially uh, as we're gonna need it anyway to um, when I get the um, uranium out or the uh, hexafluoride whatever it's called so we should have the bits we need I think to well create one anyway uh, two motors so there's one but obviously we're going to need another one so uh, Two, one, two, one, two, two irons, and then two for our motors. So, uh, yep, should have enough now. So, we got our two steel plates. So, yeah, that should be enough now. So, top, bottom. On the outside, advanced circuit in the middle, two motors, gives us our second centrifuge. And yeah, we've definitely got enough now to make the actual chemical extractor itself. So let's do the chemical extractor. So two centrifuges and then bronze right on the outside. So you can see there, we've got steel plates, two centrifuges, uh, a lead circuit and some bronze on the outside. And that's our chemical extractor. Now, from the chemical chemical extractor, uh, we need, I can't remember off the top of my head, so let me have a quick look. We're going to need, do, 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 do. where is it to... chemical extractor oh yeah we're going to need the nuclear boiler now to make a nuclear boiler is actually really cheap so we need a bucket two furnaces another motor so let's quickly make the motor because uh, we know how to do that so we only need one motor for this uh, some wires and a iron ingot so there's one motor um, we're going to need two furnaces, so we need some cobblestone, which we've got here. So, two furnaces. Uh, what else was it? There it is. Uh, a bucket, so we're going to need some iron and some steel plates. So, let's do the steel plates. So, we need four steel plates. And we need a bucket, which I've got to remember how to make. No, that's a minecart. There's a bucket. 
So let's put all these together then. So the two furnaces go on to the left and right into the center. The motor goes on to the bottom. Still plates around the outside. And uh, what am I missing? What am I missing, guys? Uh, ch -ch 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 nuclear boiler. Ah, the bucket. So the bucket goes into the center. And that's our nuclear boiler. Now, we need another centrifuge as well. Um, this will create uh, the uranium out of the uranium uh, hexafluoride. So let's hopefully, hopefully we're going to have enough materials to create this. So uh, actually, let's not use the bronze because I think we're going to need the bronze. Have I got any more? Uh, don't think I'm going to have enough, guys. Might need to make some more steel. Uh, so we're going to need two motors. So yeah, I'm going to need to make some more steel. So yeah, what I'll do is if I cut here, I'll quickly make some more steel because I'm sure you guys don't want to see that. And I will get back to you once I've uh, started to make the centrifuge. So I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, well, welcome back. Um, right, so in the time I've been away, I've quickly done um, some smelting. Um, I've got the some more bronze. I've got some more steel ingots and stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, quickly get all this uh, up and running, shall we? Um, so what is it What is it we need? Um, we've got the steel plates. We've got the bronze ingots. Uh, we're going to need... Um, Two, mo uh, two motors, is it? Uh, let's quickly go and find it again. There he is. So, yeah, two motors and an advanced circuit. So, let's make our two motors. Uh, first, we're going to need uh, some cables. So, let's make the cables. Hopefully that might be enough. I'm not sure though, to be honest. Probably not. But we'll keep this bit, this stuff on us anyway. Uh, so still ingots. And then two irons. That gives us our motor. And we need two... Yeah, we're going to need some more cables. Uh, we're going to need two basic circuits and some, oh, two basic circuits to make the advanced circuit. So let's make these quickly. So it's uh, cables, redstone, and then it is, can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, we had bronze plates. So. Uh, we'll use the steel plates because I can make some more of those. Uh, and then two circuits, some redstone, and a diamond. We have this our advanced circuit. Um, so we should be able to put all this together now. So let's make some more steel plates. So there's our two steel plates. So two steel plates go top and bottom with the two motors. Uh, left and right in the center, uh, advanced circuit into the center there, and then our bronze ingots around the outside. So that gives us our centrif centrifuge. So you can see here now we've got all the machines we need. Um, we've got the chemical extractor, the uh, nuclear boiler, and also the centrifuge. Um, I now need to try and find somewhere to put all these two. So I might make a little base underneath the floor here um, so I will probably leave that for the next episode um, so hopefully you guys um, can hang around for that episode um, thanks for watching this one though um, uh, like I said in the next one I will show you guys how to set these up hopefully get them running I was going to use some transport pipes but I don't know if they're in so I'm not sure how I'm going to get some of the aspects of it working but um, we'll have a look anyway so thanks for watching this episode um, please rate and subscribe as it does help me out and i will speak to you all next time